question number 61. So in this you have to choose the incorrect match. In the first option we have the molecule that is BRF5. So in this case it is given that the FBRF bond angles are of 90 degree. So let's find out this. So first draw the structure for BRF5. So in the case for BRF5, we have one lone pair and five bond pair. So hybridization is sp3d2 and the shape is square pyramidal. So due to the presence of one lone pair, there will be lone pair and bond pair repulsion. And due to this lone pair and bond pair repulsion, the angle will not be equal to 90 degree. So angles are not equal to 90 degree. So this option is incorrect. Now you have SO3. So SO3 ka structure kya hota hai? It is trigonal planar structure. So now you can calculate the lone pair of electrons. So lone pairs are present on the oxygen atom. So there are six lone pair of electrons. So this option is absolutely correct. Now you have the third option that is for PBR5 solid. In PBR5 solid, you have PBR4 plus and PR negative. So in this case, they have said that the cationic moiety contains all the PBR bonds of equal length. So cationic moiety, kaun se yaha par? PBR4 plus. So if we draw the structure for PBR4 plus, it is tetrahedral and the hybridization is sp3. And if the hybridization is sp3, and the shape is tetrahedral so you have all the pbr bonds they are of equal bond length so option number three is the correct answer and in the fourth option you have clo4 negative and in this case they have said that d orbitals are involved in the formation of all the three pi bonds so if you draw the structure for clo4 negative So in the case for ClO4 negative, you have D pi P pi bonding because the D orbitals of chlorine are used and P orbitals of oxygen are used. So in all the pi bonds, the D orbitals of chlorine are used. So the only incorrect option that we have found that is option number one. So moving on to the next one students we have question number 62 so dipole movement of the species does not depend upon and we have four options with us so the first option says that the electronegativity difference of two directly bonded atoms suppose you have a species that is a b so higher is the electronegativity difference higher will be the charge separation so jitna zada charge separation hoga utni zada kya ho jayega dipole movement so this option is incorrect now we have the bond angle or the dihedral angle between two bonds suppose the bond angle is changed between the two atoms so if bond angle change hua to dipole movement be change jayega and also you know that the dipole movement is equal to q into d where d is the bond length of the species so jahan pe bond length change hoga wahan pe dipole movement be change jayega so this option is also incorrect now we have extent of charge separation. So we have already discussed that higher is the charge separation, higher will be the dipole movement. So this option is also incorrect. Now we have the melting point of molecule or the ion. So melting point does not have any effect on dipole movement of the species. So this option is absolutely correct. So option number four is the correct answer. So now we have question number 63 which says that 
the ionization enthalpy of hydrogen atom is 13.6 electron volt the separation enthalpy of lithium 2 plus in second orbit will be so we know that the energy expression is equal to minus 13.6 into z square by n square electron volt so the separation enthalpy is equal to 13.6 means it is of the opposite sign into z square by n square electron volt so now we have to calculate for lithium 2 plus in second orbit so for lithium the z is equal to 3 so it is 3 square and now you have to calculate for the second orbit so n is equal to 2 so it is equal to 13.6 into 9 by 4 electron volt. So if you calculate this, it will come out to be 30.6 electron volt. So option number 2 is the correct answer. So students, let's move on to the next one. Now we have question number 64, which says that the which of the following is correct with respect to de Broglie wavelength and assume equal kinetic energy. So first of all, what is the expression for de Broglie wavelength? It is equal to lambda that is h by under root 2m into kinetic energy. So here we have been given that assume equal kinetic energy. So the only variable is the mass. So lower is the mass of the particle, the higher will be the de Broglie wavelength. So now we have the particles here electron proton, neutron and the alpha particle and we know that the electron is the lightest fundamental particle so mass of electron is least mass of proton, mass of neutron, mass of alpha particle so, if mass is this order, then the de Broglie wavelength ka order is reverse. Ho so, the order will be like this. So, seeing the option, the correct order is option number 4. So, moving on to the next one, students, we have question number 65 which is again related to the de Broglie wavelength. So it says that the velocity of an electron at which its de Broglie wavelength is equal to that of a proton is equal to. So first of all, write the expression for de Broglie wavelength for electron. So it will be equal to h by mass of electron and the velocity of electron. And similarly, you can write the expression for de Broglie wavelength of proton. So it is equal to h by m p that is mass of proton multiplied by velocity of proton. So now the de Broglie wavelength of electron is equal to de Broglie wavelength of proton. So equating the two expressions we have h by m e v e is equal to h by m p v p. So now the velocity of electron will be equal to mass of proton by mass of electron into velocity of proton and you have been given that the ratio of mass of proton and mass of electron is equal to 1835 so this is 1835 into velocity of proton so the velocity of electron is 1835 times to that of velocity of proton so option number two is the correct answer Moving on to the next one, 